1942. Across America, small towns are transformed by World War II, and the country's need to outpace the enemy in weapons manufacturing. The small town of Pascagoula, Mississippi, begins manufacturing warships. Its population increases by 300%. That summer, strange home invasions plague the town. It begins on a Friday, when an intruder enters a bedroom at the convent of Our Lady of Victories. Mary Evelyn Briggs and Edna Marie Heidel are sleeping. Briggs wakes to find a short, overweight man bending over her and clutching something shiny in his hand. When the man notices that his victim is awake, he whispers and flees through the window. Briggs and her roommate realize that they're missing locks of hair. The unidentified assailant is dubbed the Phantom Barber. Three nights later, the Phantom Barber strikes again. He sneaks into a house and removes a lock of hair from a six-year-old girl as she sleeps next to her brother. Police find footprints outside their bedroom window. The same week, someone enters the residence of the Heidelbergs. The mode of entry is the same, but this attack is much more violent. While the couple sleep, they're beaten with an iron bar. They survive, but are unable to describe their attacker. Bloodhounds follow the trail from their home to a nearby forest, where a pair of blood-stained gloves are found. The trail ends there. The town panics. Despite the desperate need to produce ships for the war effort, the factories are unable to fill their night shifts. Men insist on staying home to protect their families. In response to the public outcry, the police force deputizes several citizens. Two weeks after the attack on the Heidelbergs, the police respond to another call. Mrs. Taylor can't describe her assailant, but remembers something with a sickening smell being pressed against her face. Authorities conclude that the victim had been chloroformed, allowing the phantom to collect yet another lock of hair. That fall, police arrest a retired chemist named William Dolan. Dolan had been educated in Germany and was allegedly a Nazi sympathizer. He had been charged with trespassing months prior to the first phantom barber attack. The judge in that case had refused to lower his bail. The judge's son and daughter-in-law are the Heidelbergs, the couple who had been brutally beaten in the most violent attack attributed to the Phantom. Although several witnesses put him at the scenes of different attacks and police had found human hair in his backyard, Dolan is never officially charged as the Phantom Barber. He denied that he was the intruder, but was sentenced to 10 years for the attempted murder of the Heidelbergs. After his incarceration, there are no additional Phantom Barber attacks. It was theorized that Dolan terrorized the community to weaken morale and slow down production during the war effort. At his lawyer's insistence, he was eventually granted a lie detector test by the governor of Mississippi and passed. He was released from prison. Some now speculate that Dolan was indeed innocent and a victim of German phobia. Was the Phantom Barber a case of mass hysteria brought on by the stress of global warfare? Or did the real Phantom Barber get away? <laughs>